What a do, baby! I'm Aoi, he's Leo, and we are Hikabi Lounge. Today we'll be watching Megalobox Nomad Episode 7. So, sit tight, relax, if you want to like and subscribe, go ahead and let's get into it. Ding, 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 dong. Jimmy's. Well, these are some cool looking designs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, this is this is his gym. I forgot what his name is. Is it Yuri? I think so, yeah. Is Yuri I'm pretty sure. So he's become a coach. Yeah. Remember, that was um who he fought the last time when um at the peak of Joe. No, 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 no. I mean, he lost to um, Yuri's prodigy. So the guy that's playing in, that's fighting in the ring now or practicing. Are you sure it's him? I thought it was a different guy. No, same guy. Because remember, he was on the sidelines coaching him during that match where Joe lost. Hmm. So he changed his hair, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. His name is Yuri. Oh, this smug ass kid. What is this kid trying to get? Well, it seems like all he wants is a good scoop right now, but I feel like there's something else chief i miss chief low-key it was short but he was memorable yes he was i still can't believe that was only f two episodes ago I told you, his prodigy fought Joe and won. You're right. First off, how they get into a wheelchair? And second, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Agreed. That's true. But here's the thing. He wasn't like that in the first season. That wasn't his principles in the first season. So I wonder what changed. Oh, yeah. Can we pause for a sec? Yeah. Um, so, 
Okay. If I remember what happened from the first season, he did take off his gear to fight Joe. Remember? But you gotta remember that Yuri's gear was pretty much women inside of him. So that's probably why he's wheelchair bound. Because it was, oh, okay. like, genetically enhanced to be inside of his muscles. I totally yeah, forgot totally about that true. detail. So when I was like, wait, why is he in a wheelchair? That, like... He just really wanted to fight fair and square that badly. With Gearless Joe. Oh, yeah. Which also makes me wonder why the heck Lou, the new guy, who's trying to be a champion or is a champion, I don't know, why he's so fixated on Joe, even though he's basically, like, the future. And he's also going to fight him with his gear. So I feel, gonna, I feel like it's the purpose. same reason why Yuri ended up fighting him in the first place from the first season. Because if we remember about how Joe was, he was like a determined, stubborn little fucking hood rat who would not back down. I think he wants to see that same intensity from Joe again. But during that match, he was pretty much doing it for a selfish reason. He wasn't into the match. He wasn't fully into it. And anybody could tell that, mostly if they're truly into megaloboxing. Other people that are betting against them probably won't or would probably not care since they're probably betting money on this dude. But true megaloboxers like Yuri and probably Lou, who looked up to Joe for a while, sees that he wasn't in his element. I want to see his full potential. We need to unlock that shit because I do not want to be a winner, even though I feel like I'm not. It's just one of those pride things. True, but it's like five years after, dude. I it's know. Really, that's, that's... And without his actual coach, I doubt. Like, realistically speaking, I doubt. <laughs> we're getting Joe peak performance ever. Yeah. At this point. I doubt that, too, but we're going to see. We'll see. Most of, we're actually just hoping that he actually just gets forgiven now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even care about the boxing. That's the sad part. <laughs> That's perfect characterization. We actually care for our protagonist. Ew, he looks like a douche with his hair down. Sorry. <laughs> like, he looked like he came straight out of Fate freaking Zero. What, nigga? Um, I gotta learn how to censor myself. I'm sorry. He, this guy has no idea. This guy has no context at all to any to everything that Joe went. The context of before that match, he knows nothing. Nothing at all. And that's why he seemed more like a bitch ass right now. Yeah, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. That's all uh. because he really doesn't know. That's true. It's just, it's probably coming off like this little worm of a kid. No, he's selfish. That's all it is. Yeah. He's selfish. But it's good to be selfish in this type of sport. Yeah, that's true. And besides, it's just barring. It's not like it's an actual match. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. I mean, he's not wrong. 
<sighs> he's entangled into the world of Megalobox, and it's pretty much all he knows. <laughs> what happened? They're retiring. Oh. That's wild. That's wild, but hey, at least he was brave. Oh, this is telling us more about, like, probably what led to Yuri's, um, thingy thing things. No, it's leading to Mac, specifically. Yeah. Who's the who's the new challenger for the championship? Oh. Or is the champion? I didn't really remember. I'm pretty sure they said that he was the champion, but I think they used him in these experiments. And these were the same experiments that Yuri also had, which is probably why we're learning about Mac. Brain and code. This doesn't feel natural. At all. Oh, no. Once you start None inserting chips into the brain, yeah, no. Dude, megaloboxing is not natural. <laughs> it's, just, it's not. They're just going one step further. That's all it is. Yeah, that's like, that's too fucking, this bitch, this stupid long hair little thought. I'm like, I'm sorry, I hate her. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because he got a chip in his brain, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's practically a human robot. A robot. Yep. But I guess people was excited about it because he was deemed a hero. So that also gave him a whole bunch of hype, too. He's the prototype for what's going to be in the future because imagine a guy that recovered from this. Imagine what happens if you put the chip on a guy who's actually gifted as well. Oh, yeah. Honestly, learning more about this system is interesting because we didn't really know the context last season. I'm guessing Yuri went through all this too. Yeah, um, like it was alluded to, Mac was the prototype, and just like you said. I wonder if the the chip activates only when he's in a fight. That's what I'm wondering. Because look, he has emotions. Yeah. It seems like he's grateful. But there has to be a cost to this. The perfect bunny rabbit. Yeah. I guess they're working together. 
Oh, actually, you're probably right. These are two different people. I keep on forgetting this is a five year time skip, so things probably changed like crazy compared to last season. Damn, if you think about it, Yuri went the opposite way of this company. Mm. He's trying to grow Lou the same way Joe was grown by Coach. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the technology advanced, but like I said, I'm still holding my breath because there has to be something that's bad about it. Just like what But it's specifically good about him because his backstory is what pulled in the crowd. Yeah. Similar to how talent shows make up sob stories or use or exaggerate sob stories to make you like the guy. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with this guy. Yeah, <sighs> it's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Which is why I'm like really, really hesitant. Don't get me wrong though. I totally respect Mac. <laughs> totally respect the guy. I just don't like the company behind him, that's all. Me neither. I don't like the fact that they're basically... I guess there's good things and bad things, but the bad things will show itself eventually, and that's what I'm waiting for. Because Yuri got messed up by those experiments from the last company. So I wonder what's going to happen to Mac. With the way this is turning out, imagine we actually end up rooting for Lou. <laughs> <laughs> the green-haired prodigy. Right. Uh. Oh, he's not wearing his gears. Oh. Is that a camera? Let me guess, it's that little reporter bitch, right? Oh! Oh! There you go. He still ain't backing down. Oh! That's not reality. He's been gone for five years. On a drug bender. He only gets wilder. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure he's an illusion? Yes! I think he's the real deal, my guy. I think he's the real deal, my guy. I think you're just an arrogant kid. I can't wait till this man teaches you a lesson. He may not win, he's but not... he's gonna teach him a fucking lesson. And I cannot he's not wait in his to prime. see it. He's not in his prime, but he can definitely give a one-two. Oh, yeah. If you give him the chance. Oh, shit. Get him into it. Spark him. He don't need his see? gear. He Look don't need his smirk. gear. Look at that smirk. Look at that smirk. Get that shit off. One on one. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, animation is going so crazy. Swift. Hold up. Everything is smooth. <laughs> and this is full on 2D, too. I miss this. I miss this so much. Oh, shit. Damn it. Damn, Damn it. You took him out of the whole freaking flow. I'm sorry. I love how they got a window conveniently right there. It's 
So are these bitches gonna be allies? Because I'm getting those vibes. They have no reason not to. Yeah. I hope you paid him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you paid Joe. Same. He needs money. But this probably <laughs> low-key inspired him, too. You saw how happy he looked. He had the same look when he first started getting into megaloboxing. You exaggerated a bit, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can see some of the kids are starting to change their view. Yeah. You know? They're just very slow about it, which is nice. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> and they still have obvious care about the guy. Even him being a a reporter on Megaloboxing. <laughs> now Sachi, though, he thing. a trip. He's a trip at the moment. Yeah, I'm ignoring his existence right now, for now, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait until he settles down a bit. Oh, oh? hell yeah. Lou versus Mac. Okay, I Here missed this OST. Who you got? Who you got? Who you got, Alvi? Who you got? All right, I'm going to Mac. I'm going to say I'm going with Lou low-key but at mm -hmm. the same time i haven't seen max full ability i'm kind of familiar with Luz because we saw him in the flashbacks mm. hey looks like they are talking a bit i hate this black hair bitch sorry <laughs> brother That sounds familiar, that voice. It sounds very. Hold up. Oh, that's a good logo, not gonna lie. They're going all out. <laughs> you can't see this now, but I'm just rocking my head a lot. I love this OST. Yeah! I'm going with Mac. <laughs> all right, you got Mac, I got Lou. Also, because it's for my man's Lou, <laughs> Sorry, all I can think about is XO and that's and that song of his that was like Lou Lou I'm just trying to get you in the mood. Oh. Do they have a connection to each other? Are you kidding? I, doubt it. <laughs> I think that was just I think that was just um if I was going to be real it's probably just a connection that he read the newspaper article about their spar. With Lou. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over and see if there's anything left over. Not yet, sadly. Nope. I think this is one of the few anime that don't that don't do that, so Yeah. <laughs> That's good for us. We get everything at the <laughs> during the runtime. Yeah, and that just yeah. means that we're ready for when the next episode comes out, which should be on Sunday this week. Yeah. Yep. So we'll see you guys next episode. All right. Bye bye. Bye guys. <laughs>